Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. So I thought it would be kind of cool to give you guys a little insight on why I can never, ever get married. Like, ever get married. <sighs> Marriage is a wonderful, wonderful little, I guess, union between two people. I don't know. But the reason that I can't get married is because I am just literally too shy. I get... I can't stand the thoughts of standing up in front of like people and speaking about, you know, like how much I love you or, you know, just saying your vows or, you know, because I, I just, I just couldn't do it. I will never do that. I will never do that. I don't care if it's with 15 people or 1500 people watching me. I can't stand the thought of freaking just standing up in front of people and repeating after the pastor or anything like that. I mean, I couldn't remember it, you know, and everyone's looking at you and secretly judging your dress or your body. Or, and I am really, really self-conscious of my nose because I feel like it sticks out. And when you're standing up there, your profile view to the audience and my nose sticks out really badly when I turn my head. See, look, look at it, just look at it. So it does stick out, and I'm just not really big on marriage to begin with. I think it's a joke. <laughs> um, because when you live with someone, that is true love to me. You know, it's a commitment of going to bed, getting up with someone, you know, fixing breakfast for that person or together or whatever your schedule is. You know, and that I'll always be with you type of mannerism, you know. The only reason I guess I would get married is because of insurance purposes. <sighs> that sounds so cold-hearted, but it's, it's the truth. You know, I'm not interested in carrying your last name. And you don't, you, you don't have to carry your last name just because you get married. You know, that's just like a traditional flu-flog. But I make up my own language. <laughs> so, you know, my cousin, you know, got married and she didn't take his last name. You know, no, it's no big deal. It's not like a... A regulation that you have to do that but I don't know it scares me marriage scares me because it's not the commitment because when you live with someone that is like a marriage you're committing to someone every day you get to see them in the good bad the ugly but it's the thought of standing up in front of people repeating vowels and just having people watch you and I don't have I don't have money I mean I couldn't pay for a wedding I can't pay for popcorn. <laughs> I can't. I can't pay for popcorn. <laughs> God. So, yeah. My mother, she thinks that it's trashy. You know, you have to get married first before... <laughs> you have to get married first before you live with a man or a woman or whatever you, who, whatever you are life partner but I don't believe that way I respect her opinion very much I really respect her opinion but that's not for me for me you can tell I'm from Kentucky it's not for me <laughs> but that's the reason I can't get married I just I don't want to I it scares me so I'm, I'm just really shy I'm a really shy person if you ever get I guess the privilege of meeting me. I, I'm very, very backwards and very shy until I get warmed up to you and that takes, that takes a good minute. <laughs> so I'm just a really shy person and I'm, you know, self-conscious of myself and uh, kind of paranoid. I always think people, you know, is talking about me or laughing at me or something that causes me to be kind of closed off, closed up and stuff like that around people. So I just have a lot of body images about my nose and stuff like that, images, issues, body issues about my nose, and I could never stand up in front of a crowd and get married. I would never do that. Never in one million years, you know. And I hope that I find a life partner that is okay with that because, it, you know, I was never the type of girl when I was a little girl at 13, 14 years old that would dream about her wedding day and pick out clothes and dresses. And I would, I, I just never was interested in that. So... I just, it never crossed my mind because I guess I knew that it wasn't important for me. It might be for you, you know. If you're going to have a wedding, I think you need to go all out and do it the right way. Don't have a cheap, you know, just kind of like a, 
almost like a shotgun wedding. You know, if you're going to do something, do it right and do it with elegance and class. And that's something I don't have because I don't have money. And even if I did, I would still not do that because it's too much stress and it makes me very, very nervous. The thought of it, I can't handle it, you know, and I have really bad nerves. So there's a lot of things in life that I can't do or join in because my nerves are so bad that I'm just very closed off. I have to have my quiet time. I have to be away from people for a certain amount of time. You know, it becomes very overwhelming because I'm very sensitive to energy levels and stuff like that around people. So, you know, I it's almost like I feed off of other people's energy. And when it's a lot of it's negative or hatred or even positive, I have to take a break from it. So there's that. <laughs> But comment below and tell me, do you agree or disagree with me? Be nice, please be nice. Just blah, blah. Um, Or do you, do you feel the same way? I mean, do you regret getting married or do you long to get married? Or like, how do you feel about the topic of marriage? Like, do you think it's really that important other than like insurance purposes? <laughs> Screw love. It's all about that money. No, I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, comment below and tell me what you think. I would like to read your comments about that so future husband no not future husband I always say that and it's such a bad habit like I'm sorry future husband you're going to be getting a basket case with me but I, I guess sorry future boyfriend because I'm not getting married I cannot handle it I will not do it unless a miracle happens and I get brave I will not do that <laughs> I will not do that I can't handle it so anyway that was my intake on marriage just a little bit. So I think it's, and you know what, it's mostly a show. It's not real. I don't view it as for the couple. It's for your friends and family. You're putting on like a show, a theatrical show for your friends and your family. Because that's, you know, who's coming to your wedding. You know, and half the time, the bridal party, the bride and the groom, they just want to get it over with and go to the honeymoon or start their lives together. However you've got it set up, you know, that that's they're exhausted because it's it's a lot of preparation, you know. So, and I just don't want to deal with that. It is a show. It's a show showing showcasing your love and commitment and it it sounds nice, but it's it's more than it's it's just it's overrated. It's very overrated weddings are. It's like a like a skit to show off who you are for your friends and family. That's basically all it is to me. So, comment below if I made you mad. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, guys.